Trump and the Pope today, they're meeting at the Vatican, although they have had very public differences over the last year. As the president was leaving, he was heard telling the Pope, I won't forget what you said. ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, on the gift from the Pope that sent a signal. The Pope and the president, the ultimate odd couple. Their meeting may have seemed a little awkward at first, a beaming president standing next to a stoic Pope Francis. After it was over, though, the president called the meeting an honor. He is something. He is really great. We had a fantastic meeting. The president arrived at the Vatican, greeted by the iconic Swiss guard and a long red carpet, a welcome filled with pageantry. It wasn't long ago that these two men had a very public feud. The Pope last year saying then-candidate Donald Trump's call to build a wall was not Christian. Non è cristiano. Candidate Trump reacting angrily. For a religious leader to question a person's faith is disgraceful. But today, here at the Vatican, the two began with a friendly handshake. The Pope gave the president a copy of his encyclical, where he makes a passionate case to fight climate change. Yeah, I'll be reading them. At meetings today, the Vatican urged the president not to drop out of the Paris Accord on climate change. And the president promised to consider the Pope's request. And right before he left the Vatican, a sign the president may have been moved by what he heard. The president there saying to the Pope, I won't forget what you said to be a fly in the wall in that meeting. Let's get to John Carl. He's in Brussels tonight <laughs> on the eve of the NATO summit. And John, you covered then candidate Donald Trump, who famously said he thought NATO was obsolete. Now he meets with some of those very leaders. He's not expected to back down on some of what he said either. Well, there is one thing he is definitely not backing down. The United States pays the overwhelming cost of NATO's defense. He said as a candidate that our NATO allies need to pay more, and he is saying that as president. But, David, he is definitely no longer saying that NATO is obsolete. He will say tomorrow that NATO is essential. All right, and you'll be right there. John Carl reporting in tonight. John, thank you.